Are you stressed and overwhelmed in providing care for your loved one? It's so important if you are the primary caregiver that you're taking care of yourself. What happens if you become ill or you need to be away for a few days? Who's going to care for your loved one? Hi, I'm Debbie Humphrey, owner of Home Helpers of Clearwater, and we're going to talk today about how to care for your loved one. Number one, you need to take time for yourself. Stay active with your hobbies and interests. Go on, get your hair done, get your nails done, do something for yourself. Go to the beach and just listen to the waves. Go out to lunch with a friend and have a break. You need to take time for yourself, even if it's just 10 minutes a day. Number two, get your stress out. Just go to the park and scream. Get your stress out. It may seem a little odd to be sitting in the park and screaming, but it's a proven fact. Just get that stress out. And then there's meditation. Just take some time for you. There are many apps out there available that can help you, online practices, on meditation. Just look into them. It's a very therapeutic option. Go to the gym, work out. That's going to take a lot of stress off of you. And listening to music. I can tell you that's one of my favorite things to do is just turn up the radio and let the music blare. And it just takes away all of my cares. The Eagles, the Doobie Brothers, the Steve Miller Band, those are my favorites. And number three, get support. There are so many support groups out there. You can research them online. They have connections for local support groups, maybe in your church. There are so many options and you're, you're not alone. There are others out there that are experiencing what you're experiencing and talking with them can be very helpful. And you need to prepare for additional support. What happens if something happens to you? Do you have neighbors, friends, someone from your church that would come in and provide you with some respite care or a little bit of extra help? And in talking about respite care, that's giving you, the primary caregiver, a break. Gives you time away, whether it's an hour, whether it's eight hours, whether it's a day or two, of somebody that comes in and helps support you so you can get away to take care of yourself. And that's where home helpers and home care comes into play. We can provide that respite care. We can provide that few hours of care a day or a weekend if you needed that time away. If we can help in any way in helping you support your loved one, contact us at homehelpershomecare.com slash Clearwater.